हेलो एवरीवन आई एम साकेत मिश्रा वेलकम टू त्रिगुमा एकेडमी टुडे आई आई एम यू नो शेयरिंग द सर्विस नाउ सीआईएस एचआरएस जी डम्स दोस कैंडिडेट्स हु आर लुकिंग फॉर द एचआरएस जी इंप्लीमेंटेशन सर्टिफिकेशन सर्विस नाउ एचआर सर्टिफिकेशन दैट एच आर डम्स विल हेल्प यू अलॉट टू गेट अ सर्टिफिकेशन दैट विल रिवाइज यू द कंटेंट एंड दिस इज लाइक अ मॉक टेस्ट ओके सो दो कैंडिडेट्स हु आर विलिंग हु आर प्लानिंग टू टेक सर्विस नाउ एच आर एग्जाम दिस विल हेल्प यू अलॉट ओके सो लेट्स स्टार्ट सो वी विल डिस्कस ट्वेंटी सर्विस नाउ क्वेश्चन रिलेट टू द एच आर एस डी डोमेन विच विल हेल्प यू टू अंडरस्टैंड द बेसिक एच आर स्ट्रक्चर ऑफ द सर्विस नाउ ओके let's start i am creating this video because uh, i received lot of uh, comments and lot of suggestions uh, from my viewers uh, they are saying please uh, uh, create a one video for the service now hr dumps so that's why i have created this video i believe this video will help you a lot so please watch till the end and if you don't subscribe my channel please subscribe my channel and share with your colleagues okay thank you let's start so service now CIS HR freedoms. This is the we we are covering main twenty questions here. That is uh, specific for the service now HR SG terms. Okay, those candidates planning for the HR certification or the implementation certification in term of the HR that will help you. The first question is an HR admin without the system admin role can do what? So choose three. We need to choose uh, multiple possible solutions in this. Okay. so first one is is the grant role to the user or group definitely answer is yes the person who doesn't have a admin role but has a hr admin role definitely grant to the roles to the users okay modify the hr administration properties no okay reset user password no create hr criteria answer yes configure business rule no and add user to group yes so what i have done i have highlighted the answer i have highlighted the answer in yellow okay so what are the possible in this question there are three things the user can do without the admin role that is a grant roles to the user or groups second is create hr criteria yes definitely the person who has a hr admin role can create the hr criteria and add user to the groups the person who uh, who have a hr admin role definitely add the person to the group so these are the three possible answer of the first question okay let's go to the second question after the hr admin role has been removed from the admin role how may a user with only the admin role add member to hr group okay the so first is the admin must elevate their role to security underscore admin to add member to hr group answer is yes okay the second answer should be the admin can no longer add members to hr groups okay so these are the two possible answers and the other two correct answers of this question the admin must elevate their role to security underscore admin to add member to the hr group and the admin can no longer add member to hr groups okay the explanation i have also shared a one uh, link here if you if you want to go to the detail explanation of the question you can visit this link i will share this pdf in description uh, uh, video description you can download this pdf from there okay okay let's start from the third question in the create bulk case module which filter by option are available in the drop down okay there if you guys are aware about the service now hr sc there is the one option create bulk hr cases right so in this this question is related to the create bulk hr cases in this module what uh, which filter options are available in drop down so uh, these uh, four five of answers are correct document template upload file hr service template user criteria hr template hr profile and hr criteria these are the five or six uh, things or filters are available on which we can fetch out the data okay the, i have also put it the explanation reference here okay now let's go to the fourth question if you have both admin and hr admin role and wanted to configure an access control for the employee relation case okay employee relation case this is the coe hope you aware about the coe structure of the hrsd if not i will take a separate session on the coe that will help you a lot okay so what is the question if you have both admin and hr admin role and wanted to configure an access control for the employee relation case table what must 
first to be done okay so as an uh, suppose that you are a admin you have a both role admin and hr admin and you want to configure the acl access control list okay then how what is the first step you need to do with respect to the employee relation case table okay so the answer should be add the delegate developer role to your user record okay this is the first thing you need to do from the user drop down in the banner eliminate your role to security admin manually add the security admin role to your user record and nothing would to be done see the question little bit tricky the question is asking what must first to be done okay what action we need to first action we need to take so first action add the delegated developer role to your user record okay this is the correct answer now go to the fifth question what type of information does the hr profile contain hr profile uh, this is a very simple question hr profile containing the all personal employee information like the employee number mobile number data uh, like employee data salary compensation details each and every details the uh, hr profile is containing okay so the answer should be the first option personal employee data okay this is the correct answer how many user criteria records may be applied to a single kb or kb article okay only two or only three these are the two answers see how many user criteria records may be applied to a single kb or kb article in the kb article how many user criteria we can define for the one uh, kb article the answer should be we can apply two or three user criteria on the single kb article okay for the reference if you want to uh, take a in detail depth session then you can take a my knowledge management video that will help you a lot or either you can uh, take this reference from this the reference url okay question seventh in the base service now instance how are user criteria used in the base service now instance uh, actually there are two things there are two answer of this possible answer to to control which user can access the hr case application we can use the user criteria the second option should be to control read and write access to knowledge base and article okay so these are the two things these are the two scenarios where we can use the user criteria okay let's move to the next question question number eight is which of the following are true for an hr application as it relates to the user sys underscore user table and the hr profile sn underscore hr underscore core dot profile table okay so the question is this which of the following are true for an hr application and it's related to the user and hr profile table the first option should be correct both are required because the user is a base table definitely we require an hr profile table is also required if we want to maintain the employee uh, profile data okay the second only the user table is required in H. Okay, so these are the possible two answers uh, from uh, for this question. Okay, in in the ninth question, in the base instance, what determines the condition a case must meet before it can be assigned to an agent? Okay, so I uh, hope you all aware about the assignment rule. These are the matching rules. So there are two answers. Matching rules uh, should be uh, meet, and the second the ACL answer. ACL. Okay, so these two things should be match uh, before assigning to the agent. Okay, let's go to the question number ten. What role is required at a minimum to view confidential HR information data? Okay, so as you know, HR SD containing the co very highly confidential data. So how can we manage and what is the minimum role required to see the information or data? So the minimum or basic role. Um, to see the confidential data is should be a hr admin the role name is a sn underscore hr underscore core dot admin so this is the correct answer to the person who wants to see the confidential information that person should have a hr admin role okay let's go to the question number 11 what type of hr document template may be created in service now choose two the first template we can create a document templates in HR document templates. Second is a PDF document templates and text document templates. So you can create three types of the templates in service now. Okay. Now go to the question number twelve. What are the advantage of removing? What are the advantage of removing uh, the HR admin role uh, from the system admin role after the HR implementation task has been completed? The answer should be uh, the first. That is a this ensure that HR has control over further HR configuration because uh, suppose that I am the implementation or I am a developer 
वंस आई विल डिलीवर एवरीथिंग वंस आई हैव इंप्लीमेंटेड एवरीथिंग देन आई विल रिमूव माय सेल्फ फ्रॉम द एचआर एडमिन एंड ग्रांट द एक्सेस टू द एचआर आफ्टर दैट सो दैट दे कैन हैंडल द एचआर कॉन्फिगरेशन लेटर एंड कंट्रोल द एचआर ओके द आंसर शुड बी दिस इंश्योर दैट एचआर हैज कंट्रोल ओवर फर्दर एचआर कॉन्फिगरेशन और दिस इंश्योर दैट कॉन्फिडेंशियल एचआर डाटा इज ओनली एक्सेसिबल टू द यूजर विद एन एचआर रोल ओके दीस आर द टू थिंग्स व्हिच इंश्योर द कॉन्फिडेंशियलिटी ऑफ द डाटा एंड कंट्रोल टू द एचआर ओके so go to the next question uh, what does service now call the hr application okay so what we are saying in service now to call the hr application so this is a very actually simple question we are saying hr sg uh, hr sg that is a human resource service delivery answer but in previously uh, uh, people are saying hr deliver service as well but in nowadays the correct answer should be the hrs in hr service delivery okay question is 14th question is what define an employee's access to the hr service portal employee and service center okay so what define an employee access to the hr service how can we define the employee's access on the service portal there are two things a group membership and the hr criteria and client roles these are the three things which define the employee access level in the hr system okay so question number 5 is what kind of records do hr request create what types of record, records we can create the hr incidents hr cases these are the two possible records we can create it okay the hr can request it question number 16 in the hr guided setup module why are some task located in the task view The, the possible answer is the correct answer is they require an elevate, elevated role to access okay and second should be they require a plugin to be activated first if uh, the question is please understand the question question is hr guided setup module why are some tasks located in task view if you are first if you want to uh, implement hr you definitely you need to activate the plugin so the answer should be they require a plugin to activate first and second they require an equivalent role to access because the the person who has a admin role can only activate the plugin okay so these are the two things we need to confirm in the task view okay let's go to the question number 17 17th question is which of the following are example of hr application scope okay also these are the few examples of the hr application scope human resource coe human resource core human resource integration human resource life cycle event and human resource service portal so these are the scope actually these when you will integrate the while you you will uh, implement the hrs hrsd in any organization these are the few by default scopes are coming according to the plugin so these are the basic uh, scopes uh, the i have highlighted as answer okay there is no human resource sometimes interviewer will ask you human resource global is there any scope no human resource global is no scope we are capturing all things under the global okay no, there is no human resource global scope is available human resource service portal separate is available okay let's you no know, go to the next question how can an hr administrator or content writer limit which employee will see content on the employee service center okay so how can we control the employee access or content visibility so all employee will see the same information right and using the user criteria we can define the uh we can control the content over the uh, hr portal okay question 19th if the audience field has been configured on a life cycle event activity what will the system do if the system person doesn't meet the criteria for an activity the answer should be the activity must be manually closed by the hr professional this is a manual process but we can also do it by uh, you know automation or the workflow as well but uh, this uh, as an the service now doc it should be the manually closed by the hr professional and the activity must be manually closed by the subject person okay the last and final question is the the service now sim methodology is based around what generic methodologies okay so actually uh, this is related to the project management so it's a very important question uh, so the correct answer uh, is waterfall and rapid application development model and the scrum and xp model okay so these are the service now sim methodology based around the generic methodology so do these are the two two correct answer waterfall and rapid application development and scrum and xp okay 
i hope you uh, love this video please subscribe my channel and i will come again with the next uh, service now hr dump in my next video so please don't forget to subscribe and like and share my channel thank you so much thank you so much for watching the video